What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for my full guide slash review of Blazebinder. Now, Blazebinder is quite an old class, but many people consider it to be one of the best farming classes in the game. So today I'll be talking about the enhancements, the weapon range, how to use this class, and finally, my opinion on how fun this class is to use and how this class sort of fits in with all the other classes in the game. So without any further ado, let's get into the enhancements. So the enhancements are really easy for this class. All the abilities are magical, and as you can see with the stats on this class, intellect um, and wisdom are two really important stats. So the the better your spell power, um, the more damage you're going to do and the, just the more effective this class is going to be. So wizard enhancements are the way to go for this. That's just full wizard. Weapon range doesn't really matter. This class is really, really consistent no matter what weapon range you use. But um, I'd personally prefer to go more more on the stable side of things. So perhaps, you know, a mid-stable sort of, sort of... You can still go a little bit unstable, it's fine. But I'd personally prefer to go the more stable the better sort of thing with this class. Now, uh, as for actually how to use this class, um, it's very, very easy to use. This class is one of the easiest classes in the game to use, and it's one of the best. So, uh, you've got your four abilities, of course, but before we get into that, I'll talk about the, the uh, passives. So, you have two rank four passives, a 20% increase in damage on DOTs, and a 10% increase in your outgoing damage, and then your rank 10 passive is... Occasionally, your haste and mana regen will greatly increase for a short amount of time, um, and that increase is actually... Uh, a quadruple to your to your haste so that's actually a pretty impressive uh, little effect that sometimes goes off but it, it's a uh, again it's quite rare so it's not really not really worth uh, considering when contemplating to get this class or not now as for how to use this class uh, your first ability is called combustion blaze it consumes 10 mana and has a four second cooldown it essentially just hits three targets always crits never misses and it applies a small dot um, and that again it's four second cooldown so you just keep spamming that and you'll be fine you can loop that dot um, because it lasts 4 seconds, so yeah. Your next ability is called Choking Shadow Smoke. It consumes 25 mana, it has an 8 second cooldown, um, and what it does is it applies a DOT effect to th your 3 targets, so this targets 3 people as well. Um, it also has a chance to stun, and it also ha makes your opponents have a reduced chance of hitting you. So it, it does do a little bit of survivability stuff there as well. Um, the DOT is actually really, really good, and it lasts 8 seconds, so that's the same amount of time as the cooldown on this ability, so you can just loop this DOT over and over again, um, and there's not really many mana problems with this class, so you can just, you don't have to worry about just spamming this ability. Now your next ability is your heal, it's called Fire in Your Skin, it consumes 30 mana, has a 6 second cooldown. The main aspect of this ability is the, uh, the HOT, which is a pretty, pretty moderate, um, HOT of about 400, it lasts about 8 seconds, and uh, it also, this ability also makes your enemies uh, catch fire, it says, which is basically just a DOT if they hit you. So it's, it's not too strong, it's about 100, but it's still a little bit of extra damage. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, it's a nice little ability there. It doesn't consume too much mana. Um, and again, this class doesn't really have mana problems, so you can, you can probably spam this, but if you, if you do have to start watching where your mana consumption is going, then I'd probably stop spamming the heal. There's no real need to keep this heal going a lot of the time. Um, now as for your last ability, it's called Darkfire. It consumes 25 mana, it has a 12 second cooldown. Um, very similar to the, to the first ability, it, it targets 3 monsters and can never miss, but this one never crits, but it hits much harder. So it hits about 1.3k, around about there, um, and it never misses, like I said. So it's actually a really consistent high damage ability, and if you combo it with the first ability, which also never misses, then you go bang bang, and that's like an instant sort of 15, 1600 damage, so it's really quite effective. Now, this also applies a DOT when you hit your three enemies, um, and that lasts eight seconds. Now, the DOT up that you apply, it's part of an effect, and that effect also applies either a DOT intensifier or a damage debuff to your enemy. Um, essentially, this class is really, really easy to use because you just spam the abilities accordingly. Now, the, th the third and fourth abilities, so the heal and the, the DOT ability, they both don't actually, like, hit the enemies per se, they just apply effects. So uh, really, you just want to be spamming 2 and 5 as much as you possibly can, and uh, of course the DOT ability again, spam that as much as you can, um, and then use the heal when appropriate. Um, it's best just to assess the situation as it goes. Sometimes you're going to be needing to use the heal a lot, and sometimes you won't need to use it much at all. So uh, assess the situation as you go, but this class is, is super super good for farming. Now this is going to be the review section of this video. 
Now, like I said, it's really good farming class. It's probably the best in the game. Um, it's debated whether Abyssal Angel or this class is better. I personally think that this class is better just because they really, I think, a kind of fucked up on the design of this class, and I'll tell you why. Um, this class will probably never be beaten without making a class that's really broken. This class is already one of the most broken classes in the game because it never misses with anything. It's the most consistent class in the game because your first ability never misses, it always crits. Your second ability doesn't have a part of it that could miss. Then you have the same situation with the third ability. And then the fourth ability also never misses. So you're literally just chucking out damage at like a incredibly consistent rate and the damage um, the damage amount that you're dealing is actually really really good as well the 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 mana consumption is is on point your healing is on point for most most fights you're really never running into issues with this class and uh, as a result to make a class that would be better than this which is what AE tends to do they tend to release classes and then try and one up themselves by the time they release the next class you'd have to make a really, really broken class. And this class is actually kind of old, so I think that's why there's not been a class that's beaten this class yet. Abyssal Angel's close, but this class is just, Blaze Binder's ridiculous. Um, now granted, it is quite difficult to get. Um, you have to get rank 10 uh, Doomwood, and you also have to get a Pyromancer, I believe, which is a daily quest class. So you have to do quite a bit of farming for this class, but it's definitely worth it. It's an incredibly, incredibly good class. Um, but I just think it's broken. I don't think it's a very interesting class to use at all. It's very, 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 very easy to use. You don't have to worry about what your abilities even do. Like, reading out the tooltips is, is useless. Like, you just need to just use the abilities and you'll be fine. Um, it's nothing to be worrying about at all when using this class. It's really, really boring. It's a super boring class. And so, uh, if you're looking for something to spice up your gameplay, then Blaze Binder is one of the worst classes you could possibly get. This is really boring. If you're looking for a good farming class, then Blaze Binder is the best class you can get. So, take with that what you will. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. I might do a class comparison with this versus Abyssal Angel. I have done that before in the past, but it was on my old channel, or my, my main channel, I should say. Um, and I kind of, I don't know. All my videos on there are kind of garbage. I never really tried very hard with them. I don't know. I, uh, I would like to redo Blaze Banner versus Abyssal Angel and determine once and for all which of the two is better. I personally think that uh, Blaze Banner is better, so I do stand by what I said in that video back then, but I might want to redo that and see what, what uh, happens. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful or if you just enjoyed it, then leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.